All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to hook up a Bluetooth heart rate monitor to an Android phone or an iPhone. The version of Strava that I'm running on both of these is the most update, up to date version. So I don't know if it's going to be the same if you're running an older version of Strava. If you are, just update it and follow this guide and I'll tell you exactly how to do it. The heart rate monitor that I am using is a Wahoo ticker. This is a Bluetooth and an AMP plus heart rate monitor. So it will hook up to a phone like either of these or a Garmin device and any other AMP plus computer you may be tracking your heart rate monitor with. First thing we need to do is put the heart rate monitor on, wake it up and also important because it'll tell you right away if it's working, if it's tracking your heart rate or not. So first thing that we need to do, have Strava open on both of the phones. On the Android phone, we're going to go to the upper left here, hit record activity. And on the iPhone, we're going to go down to the middle. See right here, it says record. We're going to hit that. And then on both of the phones here, they're going to open up to the same activity page where they record what's going on. Let's see if we can focus here. Gonna hook up on either one or the other here, it looks like. There we go. We're going to go, it looks the same for both of these right now. We're going to go to the lower right here. There's a triangle. There we go. Now it's on the iPhone too. Hit the triangle on this triangle on the iPhone same thing these menus look a little bit different but they're effectively doing the same thing to hook up to the heart rate monitor on the iPhone we're just going to check the heart rate box it's going to hook up here and while it's connecting to that you'll also notice that Bluetooth sensors are turned on on this if the Bluetooth sensors are not turned on then we lose the heart rate so make sure that's turned on. Now that we've connected, it'll already connect automatically. See, it's connecting. My heart rate is currently 92 beats per minute. And to get this to work on the Android phone, we're going to turn it off on the iPhone because the heart rate monitor will only connect to one phone at a time. And just extra, we're going to go up here. We're going to remove the heart rate monitor from this phone over here. So you just hit edit in the upper right corner, go over to this minus here, and delete the heart rate monitor. I don't need the heart rate monitor hooked up to this iPhone because it is not my phone. And then to get it to hook up on the Android phone, we're going to go over here, we're going to check the heart rate box. It's going to search, then it connects. 87 beats per minute and then the procedure for getting rid of the heart rate monitor on the i or the android is very similar just go to remembered sensors click the little x here and it forgets the sensors all right and it's checked so it's just going to connect back up to it and then if we go back after we hook up our sensor here to the activities page start recording an activity and your heart rate will show up right here in the upper right hand corner uh, it says Strava is not recording on here because I do not have the location services turned off on this phone if you have your GPS turned on it will work just fine so at this point you can see it's displaying heart rate and you can either mount this wherever you would on your bike or if you're running if you just want to leave it on to check your heart rate you can do that too i'll track it the whole ride and if you're looking to save battery on your phone because it will take a lot of battery to leave your screen on the whole time especially with the white display that they use on here you can just turn your phone off and it will continue tracking it and when you're done with your ride you'll turn it back on 
hit finish ride and it'll give you all this data at the end the time on the upper left here how far you went average speed if you look in the lower right here that is your average heart rate gotta get this to focus there we go you got your average heart rate down there and that's back at the sensor page so that is how you hook up your iPhone or Android phone to a Bluetooth heart rate monitor. Thank you for watching.